Um, Halloween, not general fall, pen and ink color recommendations, question mark. I like this one. And so, uh, so, so yeah. first off, we did just release a beautiful, beautiful spread of imagery mm-hmm. that includes fall favorites. So if you are in the mood for fall sort of products, we do have that mm-hmm. available for you on our website. It's on the front page now if you want to go check that out. But for Halloween specifically, we want to go with a little bit more of a spooky vibe, less of a seasonal cozy uh, pumpkin spice-esque vibe. <laughs> so, I um, mean, obviously the low hanging fruit would be to pair something black with something orange. And um, if you wanted to go with the orange arrow, the one that Brian used um, last time, the diplomat arrow, that one does have a black, uh, that's a lighter black or a darker gray grip section, but it is orange and black. So that's Mm -hmm. a good option. Also in that same vein, if you can get your hands on it, the diplomat Elox is a beautiful black and orange pen, a little rare because it's been popular than uh, most people thought it would be. But if you can get your hands on that, that's a great pick as well. Mm -hmm. Um, In the newer Banus, the Talisman model has a color, a variation colorway called Foxglove, which is Mm. orange and black. And that one is a stunner. That is one of the best of the bunch. That one in the... uh, the Dragon's Blood one are really, really awesome, but I think Foxglove's the best. That would be a perfect Halloween pen. Mm. And uh, Or you could just kind of go with a black pen, matte black vanishing point, something kind of sleek and dark with a spooky ink. Um, I thought of a couple. One of my favorites that uh, doesn't get a lot of press is Noodler's Nightshade. It's a mm. deep, dark, reddish burgundy with a pretty cool name. Um, definitely some some uh, Halloween vibes there. I think it's a really great ink. It's fun to write with as well. Or you could go with something like more uh, spectral, like ghost-like. And um, I think that my two favorite Sailor uh, Ink Studio inks, Thunder Fluff and Rain Fluff, are good options because they have that really cool kind of <laughs> halo situation going on where they go on this gray purple and then they have this kind of funky greenish highlight. It's kind of spooky, kind of ghost-like, right? Now, some people might call them Ink Studio 123 and 224, but being as 123 is a little bit lighter, that's rain fluff. And 224 is a little bit darker, thunder fluff. These are unofficial names, of course, that Drew's come up with. <laughs> so far, they're unofficial, Brian. Well, we'll see. We'll see if Sailor adopts them, but uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Nightshade, that sounds like some sort of like Marvel superhero supervillain. Is Nightshade. there a Nightshade? That's, that, Probably. That, that's gotta be. There's gotta be. There's like thousands of wacky superhero villain types, right? Probably, yeah. I mean, if there's Polka Dot Man and Calendar Man, there's probably a Nightshade. <laughs> Calendar Man? Calendar Man, yeah. He's a uh, He's a serial killer. Wow. Yeah. Oh, gosh. He's from, he's from Batman. He's got Yikes. the months of the year tattooed on his around his scalp. Wow. That's oddly specific. He's a serious business, man. Don't want to mess with wow. him. Wow. Okay. He's creepy. I feel like it sounds like a Mad Lib where you just like something man and you're just like making up random words. Calendar. Oh, there, there's, Calendar. There, there are some. I mean, DC has been making comics since like, you know, the 30s. So. Oh, uh, yeah. The there's late 30s. Them. So, yeah, you, you can get some wacky villains for sure. Fair enough. Um, yeah, these are great suggestions, Drew. I have some different ones to kind of throw in the mix. Um, well, the most obvious one is you can just go with almost any Rhodia pad because orange and black is their color scheme and has been since the 30s, I think. So, yeah, basically any Rhodia pad would do um, if you're going for a paper thing. Uh, I think the Diplomat Magnum Orange Demo, which I happen to have right here, actually, hmm. that's got a nice kind of pure orange vibe. I think that could work. Put some black ink in there. Very much a Halloween pen. Or you could mix and match it. If you had a black, you know, magnum, you could swap the parts if you don't, you know, if you aren't afraid of getting arrested. But um, the Conklin Duragraph and Amber, that's just a great looking pen anyway, but it's very much like a translucent orange with some black mm. kind of threads throughout it. That's our most popular um, Duragraph, like regularly offered Duragraph color. Uh, also, some good ink colors. You got me thinking, Drew. Uh, Diamine Oxblood, obviously. That one's kind of a given. Diamond Writer's Blood, too, could kind of fit in there. And Diamond Pumpkin. 
I mean, that's just a great fall color anyway. It's one of my favorite oranges, actually. Just a great color. Does get some crustification on it from time to time, but that's okay. You just wipe it off and it doesn't hurt anything. And then I was like, isn't there an Edgar Allan Poe ink? And yes, there is from Diatra Menace, but it's green. So I don't know, like pumpkin stem, maybe? It doesn't maybe really fit with the Halloween vibe, but certainly Edgar Allan Poe, like you know, could be, could be thought of, but maybe you can just keep the bottle out on your desk and you can look at Poe's face and maybe just not write with the ink because then it would be green and that doesn't really scream Halloween to me. But still. I, get, I think Poe would be good if you're feeling kind of, you're feeling kind of a spooky Halloween vibe, but it's not yet Halloween. You can always rely on Mr. Poe to oh, yeah. give, oh, yeah. give, give, give you some, uh, he'll get you there. He'll darken you up. Yeah. Add, add some melancholy to your yeah. writing. Absolutely. If you're feeling good at all, just yeah, get some Poe in there and he'll he'll sink you right down. Sink you right down to the bottom.